What's up, my peeps? How's everybody doing? Cheers. Did everybody enjoy the Memorial Day weekend? I know I did. Having fun in Le Sun. And I'm gonna take you back to the last Memorial Day where I played a Memorial Day extravaganza tournament with my girl Barbara, who's probably gonna slap the camera again. And we killed it. We killed it. I was really proud of us. So this is a flashback for all you guys. And hey, thanks for last week. Thanks for all your cheerful comments and uplifting messages. You know your girl Q love you. So thank you. For those of you guys who are here for the first time, hit it, subscribe, like, comment, share it, come back next time. But let me know what you guys think about this. What's up, my peeps? What's up, y'all? How y'all doing today? It is like such a gloomy, cold day, which is crazy because it was so warm the other day. But I got my boots with the fur, with the fur. Hey, was looking at her. They be watching. I am on my way to the Hustler Casino, getting warmed up for the World Series, which is starting very soon. And I just need to be playing more tournaments, more consistently. I'm kind of backing off on my cash games and really just diving into my tournament strategy because they're so different. Coming from the cash world, I'm learning how different they are and growing in my tournament so I'm proud of myself I was looking for a tournament to play and I couldn't find one and I was like I really want to play one this week and I, I wasn't sure what to play and last night Barbara sent me a text with uh, an event going on at the hustler today it's a hundred and fifty thousand dollar guarantee it's a hundred and fifty dollar buy-in with a hundred dollar add-on so for the hundred and fifty dollar buy-in you get fifteen thousand chips and you get another 15,000 for the add-on. There are 30 minute levels uh, and it's only a two day. So day two would be on Sunday. Today is Thursday. So there's four different days of day one and yeah, day two is Sunday. So she's on her way there too. We just got off the phone, you know, chatting it up, talking a little strategy and about all sorts of other stuff too. <laughs> but I'm really excited, um, you know, after that Millionaire Mega at Commerce, I, I played the worst tournament game of my life. Like all the tournaments I played, I definitely can say that that was the biggest tournament I played and I played the worst game I've ever played. So I was really disappointed in myself. I took the lessons out of it and I will not be doing that today. I also started my day off like I had a bad morning. So I shouldn't have been in there. I shouldn't have even been in that place. I should have uh, kept my ass at home and went the next day. But I was already planned to go. I was already on my way. So I ended up going. It showed in my game. Like I just, I bluffed off my stack. And I just then, after I bluffed off a third of my stack, then I was really just kind of second best kind of things. But I should have known, you know, I'm, I'm making hero calls that I was not the hero. Just stupid shit. So today's going to be a better day. And I'm going to do something fantastic. Fantastic. Build up some of my bankroll for Vegas. Wish me luck, you guys. the best music at the Hustler. I don't even have my music on because the music is jamming and I'm singing every song and harmonizing. <laughs> and like, it's not even intentional. I'm not trying to, but you can't put no good music around me and expect me to just sit still. That ain't gonna happen. It's the first break or my first break. It's the last break to buy in. I'm at about 67K. I did do the add-on uh, when I sat down because a lot of the other players look like they did the add-on and I wanted to even 
the playing field. So I did the add-on, so I started with 30K, and I'm at about 67K right now. I've had some, some good hands. It's crazy, like when I sat down from my second hand, third hand, fourth hand, I just, I had good hands, and I won those hands. And so everybody thinks that I always bet my button, which is interesting, because I just, I was, mostly just because I had betting hands. So I'm coming in, I've been um, playing pretty well. I think I'm making good decisions, like I said, I would. That second hand, I have a seven of spades, and I'm in the big blind, and it folds around to the button who makes it 2K. Small blind folds, I flat the 2K and check dark. He checks dark too, which is uh, very confusing. And the flop is a seven, 10 with two clubs. So we both check dark, so we go straight to the turn, which is like a six of diamond, and I lead out for 3,000, and he folds. That was my second hand. Then I'm in the small blind, and I have eight, 10 of spades, and it folds around to me, and I raise to 2K. The big blind calls, and the flop is all spades. Just spadeliciousness. And I lead out for 3K. Let's just keep it running, and he folds. And then the last hand, I'm on the button now, and it's a button Annie for 800, and I got threes. So I make it 2K. The big blind and the hijack both call, and then they both check dark. Like, what's going on with this check dark shit? Everybody checking dark. <laughs> So the flop comes out like five, do seven, rainbow, and they've all checked dark, so it's coming to me, and I make it 4,500, and they both fold. So this is like my first three hands. So they think I'm crazy, they think I'm aggressive as shit, but they could keep thinking that, think what you want, think what you want. Okay, before I get back in here, I will talk about this hand that I just had. I had ace, king off on the button, and the blinds at this time are 500, 1,000. So the under the gun player makes it 2,700. A middle position player calls the 2700 and I raised to 6700. They both call and the flop is all low. Nothing higher than an eight. They both check to me. Dangerous. And I jam it. I just jam it in. I'm like, I'm definitely ahead and if you want to come for me, come for me. The water just fine. And they all fold. Um, one of the guy tells me, he's like, if I had a pair, I would have called. I'm like, duh. So let me get back in here. Got my soup on the way because I'm hungry. There's only 40 something players left. So I'm wondering if more players are gonna buy in. At the break, 10% go to day two. So there was only 68 entries total. So what, six and a half players? So this is like some final table shit. I'm gonna have to get my, my final table shit popping quick. Wish me luck. Okay, Barbara's all in, so let's see. Freeway all in. What do you have? Ten. Against Queen Jax. Oh my god. What? The ten on the river! Get it, mama! She's a beast, yo. Beasting. <laughs> nobody, I mean nobody, has ever won a tournament without getting lucky at some point, at least more than once. You ain't lying. You can't. You gotta. I'm so proud of you. All right, y'all. Just took a 10 minute break. I got a couple minutes. Um, I'm up to about 120K. There are, I think, 15 players left. I think eight cash and seven go to day two. So we don't care about the little money, that little mini money. We going to day two in this. So I'm buckling down. Um, I had a crazy hand. I had pocket kings in the big blind. It was like uh, the blinds are 12, 24. And um, under the gun plus two makes it 8,300. And the small blind hauls the 83. And I announced my raise and I put in the 83. And at first the dealer didn't actually hear me and then all the other guys were like, she said raise, she said raise, you know, get that money in. And then I'm like tanking and I'm like, hmm, playing with my chips, how much did I raise? Hmm all in and the small blind comes in the pot and he's got ace queen my kings hold up and he doubled up my stack that was that was a good look he had like another 8k and i ended up getting that in like a hand after that so gotta get back in here come on man it's time to go <laughs> wish me luck you guys Barbara's still in it. Barbara's stacked. If I got 120, Barbara's got like, she might about be about like almost 300 right now. If I got 120, Barbara's probably got about maybe close to 300 right now. She, she, after those 10, she, she ain't letting it, she ain't letting it go. Nine players left. We are in the money. Two more players to get the day two seat. Seven players. Let's go.
I'm tired of telling this story, y'all. So tired of having this conversation with y'all because I just went out in ninth place because it sucks. I'm in the small blind, it folds around to me, and I got 10 sex off suit. The blinds are 4,000, 8,000. I'm about to be the button ante. I'm already in for four. I got 90,000. So I'm not like in dire straits. I'm about to have 10 big blinds. Folds around to me, and my little voice says, just fold and give the big blind a walk. And then my inner beast was like, fuck that. Beast mode this. So I jam, and the big blind, who's a big stack, wakes up with Ace King, calls. Obviously, you know the end of that. <sighs> I got this bullshit. I did the add-on, so I'm in for 250, and I cash out for 400, $150 profit. It's like 9 p.m. I've been here since, well, I've only been here since two something, so it's not terrible, but um, what am I gonna do with that? That's lunch money. I spend that at the sushi bar at lunch, so sushi tomorrow. <laughs> I should have folded. I should have listened to that inner voice and just given him a walk, um, especially, you know, nine players, seven, go to day two. Barbara went to day two. I'm just like, how many times do I have to learn this lesson? How many times? So I have to like, I mean, I guess as many times as it takes for me to reach my goals, right? I, oh, it's just, it's just very frustrating. Um, but I do see this as like, it's, it's growth, right? It's my growth. Might as well learn it with $250 invested versus, you know, 10,000. So Barbara went to day two. She's got about $130,000 stack. She had like a $250,000 stack, um, had a run in, um, but she made it to day two. We're talking about coming back another day because if you cash more than one day two, you get $1,000 for the next one. And obviously you play with your biggest stack. So I'm happy for her. And the first place, which I didn't even really think about, first place in this entire tournament, not only is $150,000 guaranteed, so you get some cash, um, first place gets a $10,000 main event event seat and they put you up and stuff for that so I got 20% on Barbara actually we shared 20% so if either one of us got that seat and went to the main event then get 20% now I'm out she's still in though and she cashed in the main event last year so my money's on Barbara let's go let's go let's go get it boo. get it get it, get it. Um, so I'll, I'll let y'all know if I decide to come back and run this uh, again thanks for being here with me on this journey it's uh, crazy should i play some cash should i take this and put it on the cash table put it all on black thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this episode please subscribe you can also find me on instagram at p's and q's poker see you next time